Greetings and salutations. Today we will take a look at more of Stephen Slade Drums Fife. Today I wanted to do a quick video on one of my favourite features of Stephen Slate Drums 5, its ability to layer drum samples. This gives the user the ability to create endless drum kits from all the drum samples in the program. So to keep it short, what we'll do is jump over to my computer so I can demonstrate how I go about creating kits and presets in Stephen Slate Drums. After that we'll listen to a song that I wrote using a preset that I created from scratch. Please like and subscribe if you are enjoying my videos and enjoy indeed. Thanks guys. Okay guys, so here we are in Reaper. Simple MIDI track here. I try to keep it really simple when I'm creating my presets and stuff like that. I have Stephen Slade Drums 5 open. As you can see, I have a blank kit. There's literally nothing in it. So what we can do is, as you can see, Stephen Slate 5 has a lot of different kicks, hats, snares, everything, you name it, you can go through it. So even some electronic stuff. So what we're going to do is start with the kick and uh, find something we like. Now this is what I wanted to show you guys about Stephen Slate Drums 5. You can layer, so you could put one kick in if it's not punchy enough, enough or something like that, you can put another kick on top of it and literally lay up as, you know, a whole bunch of kicks to get the kick sound that you want. So let's say we start with, you know, we'll go up here to the deluxe and we'll see what sort of kick we like. Kind of like that pearl there. The Tama one's not too bad. Yeah, kind of like that pearl. So what we do, drag that onto the kick. So when we start playing, yeah, that's the kick sound we've got. Now I did like the tama as well. It's got a little bit more depth to it. So what we can do is literally add the tama one at the same time. Now I do like some of these old ones. Uh, this is the, you know, they've got a lot more post-processing on them. On something that cuts through the mix a little bit more. Actually, don't mind that. I think that's based after Tommy Lee's kick. I might just go with that for now. So this is the kick sound. So we can also do the same with snares. So we'll go snares here. Kind of don't mind that, that Tama snare there. A nice ring to it. Alright, so. But I feel like it's just not punchy enough. So let's see what else we've got. Oh, I like that. Snare 14 is not bad. Uh, 
Because I think if I add that over the top. We still need something else. Let's see what snares we've got in the classics. Oh, a good old black album snare from Metallica. It's always got a lot of bite to it. not too bad it's got a lot of nice ring to it that one let's try that So as you can see, you can add as many snares or kicks as you like, literally laying on, to, laying on top of each other. That's what I love about Stephen Slate drums. It's the, the ability to build your own sound from scratch. What else we got? Actually, like, there's one in the uh, Chris Lord Algae pack that I really like. I believe it's... I oh know, it might be in the Terry Date pack, actually. The, the Ash one, that's got a lot of crack to it. Really like that one. Let's chuck that in there, too. And you can change the volume on these to uh, blend them well together. So you can just drop, so, you know, click on that one, that one, that one. And just literally drop the volumes of them, but kind of liking the way it sounded already. A lot of crack in that kick. I really like that. Sometimes I really like to add just the uh, classic black album kick. It just gives it that real bite. All right, now we pick toms. So the way the toms work is you got four toms, four toms. So that'll be a set. So some have five, you can start from a 14 or like some only have three, you can start from a 10, 14, 16 because you can just put three in and leave one out okay what else we got uh tom. I like the Pearl reference there. All right, so basically just drag them on, throw them on there. Okay, so I believe I put a Tom uh, here. Again, you can layer the toms if you want. Like if I just grab these ones as well, punch them in. I don't, I don't see the point in layering toms, but you can do it. I mean, it doesn't sound too bad as it is, so we'll just go with that for now. I'm only just building a quick kit, so just to demonstrate how it's done. Okay, symbols. Uh, I mean, you can go, the way they work is so you got a left and a right. So you have a left and a right. So. Just to keep the video short, I'll just drag a 19 in here and a 19 in here. So you got the two symbols. Uh, rides. Uh, probably my favorite one is 
this one here so we just drag that in bang right uh, splash splash in hats yeah sounds good and then basically what it is ah I forgot a China that sounds good right there see And you know, if you're feeling that's it's just too kicky, like I said, you can always uh, head to the mixer, bring it down, edit that, that just that one piece. If you go to the mixer, you can actually grab onto like every kick now that's in there has its own in and out. So you can actually just click on them all. So you can control the volume all at once like that. So if you find the kick's too loud, you know, or you can control each individual one. You can go to edit, click on this, click on this one, bring it down. That's how simple it is, guys, to uh, just endless kits you can make with this program. Just remember, this program is only $119 compared to a lot of other programs that charge sometimes more for a single kit. You know, you get so much diversity out of this. And as you can see, I haven't even gone into like you know the articulations or anything like that you know rooms for each kit piece you know mics every mics are there and you know you can really get into it to build some decent kits so and i haven't even done any post-processing at all you know so if i say you get um this is something i really like to put on there Throw this on, tiny little bit of highs there, put that on. And then straight away, if I turn this off, like, listen to the huge difference there. I mean, it sounds damn amazing. As soon as you kick that in, you know, these are top quality drums, guys. And I haven't done any mixing. I mean, obviously, I'm clipping out there. I haven't done any mixing or anything. It took me, what, five minutes to make a kit. If you sit with this for a good, you know, hour or two you can come up with the most amazing kits you can ever think of you've seen the, the range there so that's pretty much the video for today guys uh stick around there'll be a, a song that i created i did a a quick uh quick preset that you can save you know here i did this one for this next video So uh, you'll hear that in the next song. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Like and subscribe if you are enjoying. And enjoy indeed. Thanks, guys.